We're going live. Hello. Hi, Pat. Hi, can you see us? Hi. We can see you. <laughs> we can't see you on the video. We can just see you in our little window here. Let's see. Use better. Show. Oh, no, I don't want that. That. What's this one? Show. Hello. <laughs> it's Pat. Hi, Pat. We Hello. see your message. Thanks. Hey, Jody. Hi. Hello. We're just waiting for our other people to join. Let us know if you can hear us okay. Hey, Maureen. Hello. I miss you too. Can you hear us okay? Just pop us a message. Let us know if you can hear us okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. We're just going to wait for a couple more people to join. This is Alex, everybody. For those Hi. who might not know Alex, Alex, tell us a little bit about your business. Um, well, I have a, a shop on Etsy for 12 years now. It's called Zoom Vintage. Um, long before there was a Zoom chat, there was Zoom Vintage. Um, <laughs> so I've been selling vintage uh, clothing and home decor for a long time. And I worked with Elisa here at Moonstruck for a couple years now, right? Yeah, yeah it's been a couple yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, we have fun. We have fun selling vintage. Yeah. It's great. Yep. Uh, Alex is very knowledgeable. We just have a good time because we both love doing this. So I'm, I'm Elisa. Um, for those who might be joining that don't know who I am, uh, I'm the proprietor at Moonstruck Clee or Mo Moonstruck Cleveland Vintage. Hey, Darcy. Welcome. Um, and what we've been doing for the past couple of months is we've been just um, having these live sales on um, uh, Facebook and YouTube. And we're just uh, going to spend some time together. We're still exploring this whole thing. We're we are. We're, we're still learning and trying to grow and trying to find um, a way to get out the word about our shop and about our businesses um, organically. And we think this is one of the ways to do it. So we really appreciate you joining. And um, we're um, we're having a little wine. So. I hope you're having a cocktail or a nice drink also. But um, tonight we're having, yeah, we're having some Pinot Grigio. And yeah, and um, it just helps ease our nerves just a tiny bit because yeah, we're, we get a little nervous. We're a little us. nervous. Yeah. So, um, hey, Lorraine. Hi, sweetie. Thanks for joining. Um, so we're just going to wait a couple more minutes and just to give everybody a little bit of background of what, what's going to be happening today. Um, as I said, we're broadcasting tonight from, hey Liz, um, we're broadcasting from um, our shop in Little Italy in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, it's called Moonstruck. And we're going to just share a few items with you. Um, Alex and I are, we're, you know, we have a small collection of, of things we've curated, especially for the sale. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you a little description of the items and give you a price. And the first person in the comments um, to, to uh, give us the number of the item will be able to purchase the item. And uh, that's basically how this is gonna work. And in, you know, the numbers will be out of sequence, so you won't necessarily know what the number is coming up. Well, it's the last bit of information that we'll get, give you. Um, thanks, Maureen, I appreciate that. Um, we also have a special guest that's going to be joining us. She's on the line with us now. Her name is Pat Eisenstadt. She's one of our vendors. She's been with us for a very long time. She's created a video for us about her product line. Um, and uh, she's uh, going to share some information with us via the video and also is here to answer any questions. And for some of you who have been with us before, we also do... Oh, Jeanette, you can't hear us. Um, is anybody else having trouble hearing us? You might want to check your mute button, Jeanette. See if that helps. Um, 
So Pat's going to share a little bit about her, her company and her business and her products. And then um, we also do um, trivia throughout the sale. Thanks, ladies. Um, and then Pat has provided the, um, the, the prize for the trivia questions. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy what she has to offer. Um, and I think, and Lee, our CTO Lee, as some of you might know Lee, um, he's going to be joining us a little bit late, but he usually coordinates, um, thanks Karen, um, he usually coordinates the trivia questions. So we're going to wait till Lee joins us. He's going to be about a half an hour late. Lee is part of a chorus and he is rehearsing, um, getting ready for one of their, their first um, public um hey chris i'm oh, glad you could join um he's this is going to be one of their first concerts since um covid so they're oh, pretty excited about it yeah they're great. looking forward to that that's so great. maybe if we're lucky no all are welcome tammy this is um thanks for mentioning it um we obviously do have local customers but we we ship worldwide oh we do yeah both uh, alex we, and i we know how to ship things we're yeah. good shippers. We <laughs> so yeah, the this is open to anyone. Um, locals can pick up, obviously, but um, we also ship wherever you might be. Um, so we often ship across the country. So no problem there. So um, I'm trying to think what else we want to share. So Lee's going to be joining us shortly, but we'll probably start out with Pat and a little bit about what she has to share with us. Um, and then we'll let a couple more people join. No, the, the trivia is for everyone too. Um, we'll ship the item to you if you win and uh, the gift will be sent to you and we'll take care of the shipping for you. So mm -hmm. no problem there. So you're all set, Tammy. You can play along with everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll talk more about the details of how the sale will work shortly, but in the meantime, we're just gonna you know, we'll probably just chat with, um, share, share some Pat's background um, with you, and then we'll get started. Pat, do you remember how long you've been a vendor here at the shop? You can type it in the chat if you want, or if you would like us to add you, we can, but no, no pressure. So, um, but it's been at least three or four years. It might be longer. I don't know. Thank you. Thanks, Jody. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. Let's see what Pat has to say. 2015. Okay. Wow. So in addition to, oh, great, Jeanette. Glad you can hear us now. So um, most of, I'm sorry, I was issue. <laughs> so weird to see yourself doing every little thing, scratching your head and messing up your hair. Um, in addition to, yes, no problem, Tammy. Thanks for asking. It's a good question. Um, so in addition to vintage, which is primarily what we sell, we mostly sell you know, vintage clothing and housewares and um, artwork. We also have a few very select um, local vendors that we work with and, and Pat Eisenstadt is one of those vendors. Um, once she, you see her video, you'll understand why it's such a perfect fit for us, but um, she's also an absolute pleasure to work with um, and very thorough and um, just very responsive and, and we really enjoyed working with her. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, let's just see what's in the chat here. Oh yes, and Pat also, and, you know, Pat, that you didn't cover that in your video, I don't believe, but um, Pat also makes other handmade cards as well. This is a very specific line of cards that she's going to um, chat with us about today. Um, but there are other, other cards she makes as well, in particular wedding cards and so on that we carry in the shop. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you quickly the um, video that Pat made for us. And then if you have any questions for her, we, we can ask her while she's online with us, so. Hold on just a second. First time doing this, so saying bye. You can do it. Let's see, share screen. 
Ah, well, maybe we won't do that. Hold, oh, stand by just a second, you guys. Okay, share. Okay. Okay. Just double, double check. Can just somebody tell me if you see Pat's lovely face on the screen? Just want to make sure you can see it. Okay. Because we can see it on our end. And then we'll go ahead and play it. Okay. We're going to trust you can see it. <laughs> if not, we can play it again. <laughs> so here we go. Hi, I'm Pat Eisenstadt, and if you're not already familiar with, I'd like to introduce you to Vintage Visions. My mother-in-law, Shirley Eisenstadt, was a fashion illustrator in the late 1950s. She worked at Bailey's Department Store, downtown Cleveland. Back then, a lot of department stores had their own art departments, they created the images that appeared in the different ads. This particular one was September 7th, 1959, and appeared in the PD News. This one, unfortunately, was damaged from the glue when it was sent to engraving. There is a notation, however, in the margin to print in red. So these would have been lovely red coats at the time. We wanted to preserve these works as so many things get lost and forgotten over time. To do this, we've reprinted her images into greeting cards and journals. The greeting cards, the greeting cards have some of the images you've just seen, plus additional images that she has done. And they are five by seven. They're blank inside and they're $5 each. You can buy them individually or you can buy them in sets. The sets come in, uh, uh, they're a box set and they come with all 10 images inside and the set is only $20. The journals, the journals are $15. They're five by seven as well. They're spiral bound. They'll fit into a backpack, a purse, um, just about anything that you're carrying. They have the images inside. So you can draw, you can write in it, uh, you can tape or glue things in here. Uh, you can use it as a scrapbook, a notebook, whatever you choose. Um, it's very lovely. We hope you enjoy these as much as we do. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Pat Eisenstadt. And if you're not already familiar with, I'd like to introduce Hi. you to Vintage Fish. <laughs> Uh, difficulties. Hope everybody was able to hear that and see that. Okay. Nice job, Pat. You did awesome. Thank you, Thank you for doing that. It was wonderful. Um, does anybody have any questions? I mean, these cards are really spectacular. And to be able to preserve this history course, is yes. like amazing. So Alex is originally from Cleveland and I am not. I'm originally from Johnstown, New York, but I've been here 25 years or so it's a long time. Ago. Yeah. So, but you remember there were other. There were. Well, Bailey's was not around when I was a child, but I mean, there was still May Company and Hickey's and Halley's, of course, which was like the, the bomb diggity of department stores downtown. <laughs> I mean, there were three department stores downtown. Yeah, but Bailey's was not there anymore. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And Pat, yeah. did you see that question? They're asking if there's. They are all black and white, and. 
She's typing an answer for us now, guys. Um, yes. Oh, yeah. They, Bailey's went bankrupt in 1964, just so you know. Oh, the question is, are the cards all in black and white? And they are. Um, this particular line. Um, she did do something amazing during the Christmas season this year is that she enhanced some of the cards, made them more holiday like and added a little glitter, a little color, a little um, sentiment for the holidays, which were very well they received. Were yeah. They were beautiful. Yeah, really nice. yeah, we often have people come into the shop and buy the cards just to frame, take home and frame. So because they're that lovely. So really special, um, great way to really maintain the history of that pack. Congratulations. I mean, what a, what a sweet gesture to do for your mother-in-law. So anybody else have any other questions for Pat? Okay. Are, are you referencing where the um, Bailey's department stores were, Pat? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, they were. there were several locations for Bailey's. I think they were just probably just a little before your time. Wasn't yeah, it? no. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that if, what street they were on downtown. Yeah. Oh, Karen was, yes, Karen, thanks. Um, Karen, uh, Pat, so you know, Karen was asking about the red coat reference. Um, she thought maybe some of the coat, some of the cards maybe showed the red coats, which, uh, yeah, are pretty, that would be a pretty amazing option. Cool. Yes. That'd be cool for Christmas. Yeah. For that coat. Coats, yeah. Um, Tammy, um, there are all 10 of the designs are in the spiral book. So I believe it's every seven pages Is that correct Pat or something like that. So there's, there's plenty of blank pages for writing, drawing, et cetera. And then all seven of the designs are in the book as well. And then she has a mixed box set of um, the cards as well, including all 10, or you can get, you know, the same image, 10, you know, a collection of the same image. So there's lots of options. And she's, um, out of the kindness of her heart, she is providing us with our trivia giveaways um, tonight. So these are a box set of five cards. So she has three different designs. So if you want a, some cards, you need to play trivia. <laughs> oh, thanks, Suzanne. That's great. There's a link there in the, um, in the chat um, to some information about Bailey's. Thanks. Cool. We appreciate that, Thank Susan. You. Anyway, it's been a, it's a pleasure working with you, Pat. We really appreciate you, and you you really add something special to the store. And, and we know people come back and and buy the um, cards often. So they do, yeah, they do. They love them. They're so perfect. Yep. And to know the history is even better. So, sure. okay, great. Okay, Pat, thank you so much. Let me just thank check you, what your comments are. Yeah, seven blank pages for each day of the week between images. And she says, thanks for having her. You're truly a pleasure, Pat. We really love working with you. So, okay. And remember, she, she makes other custom um, cards as well. Yes, Susan, they closed in 1968 or 60s, something like that. Okay. Yep. So, all right, Pat, um, you're free to just stay on the line and join us. <clears throat> or you're welcome to drop whatever you prefer. So um, thanks for bearing with us. We just think it's important to share information about our vendors because we value them. Um, we don't take it lightly when we invite somebody into the store. So um, it's pretty important to us. So, okay. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Our CTO Lee is gonna be joining us soon. Um, he's um, just running a little late as we mentioned earlier. Um, the way this is going to work is Alex and I are going to take turns. We each have a selection of items we're going to share with you. We tried to kind of stick with a, sort of a spring theme. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I she's, don't know. she's maybe a little not spring. I don't know. Yeah, we're don't we're know. just, we just picked a, a collection of things we really think are 
kind of special. They're not things that have been in the store previously. So if you're a local person and you join us regularly, right. these are some new so items. New items. New yep. items. Fresh picked just for you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take turns. And the way it's going to work is we're going to hold up an item. For instance, my glass of wine, which is not for sale tonight, by the way. So <laughs> um, we will describe it to you. We'll give you a price. And then we, the first, and then the last thing we'll give you is the number for the item. The number will not be, they will not be in order. So the number will be random. So nobody can guess the number ahead of time. But the first person that put their number in the chat will be able to purchase the item. item yeah. yeah. And no you get no cheaters. No cheaters. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, well, just keep in mind that sometimes what you see on your screen and what we see on our screen might be different because of internet speeds and yeah, the, the wine is great. Right. Um, so there might be some discrepancy and that's why Lee's usually on with us because he is like the final word and who's first, et cetera. So, but well, we, we haven't had any problems. So if you're really interested, I just suggest you don't hesitate um, and just pop that number in the chat right away. Um, and we'll give you a chance to ask any questions about that item. There's a little bit of a delay. So um, if you do get the chance to purchase an item, you put the number in first, we'll let you know if you're first. And then we just ask that you would email us at the email address that's running across the bottom of the screen. And um, when you email us, you're just going to give us your um, mailing address if we're shipping to you, or just let us know if you're going to pick it up in the store. And then um, there's something else they need to tell us. I can't remember what it is. I think that's it. No, um, I think that covered everything. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll um, give you a cost for shipping if we're shipping. Um, we'll add it to the cost of the item and we'll send you an invoice. Um, if you're picking up in the store, it would be just the cost of the item. And then we'll, um, once you pay your invoice, we'll ship it or hold it in the store until it's convenient for you to pick up. So it's been working really well for us. So mm -hmm. no issues. Um, yes, it's we, we typically use PayPal. If PayPal is not convenient, you know, we have other methods of billing you, but that seems to be the most convenient for for, for the majority of people, but we're very flexible. We also yeah. have Square. We could, could just pay for it when they if they came in to pick yeah. it up, right? If yeah. you come to pick it up, you just pay for it when you come into the shop. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So we just find yeah. that, you know, the PayPal is a little bit the best yeah. option, but we're very flexible. We can ship anywhere. We take all forms of payment. <laughs> we're very cooperative as yeah. best we can. So um, I think we'll get started. Does anybody have any questions? Just pop them in the chat if you have a question for us. I think we hit on everything. Um, you know, we're just here to have a good time, you guys. If no one, you know, if you're not interested in buying, that's okay too. We're going to just share a little bit of information about each item and try to answer your questions and just have a have fun. Fun. Right, yeah, have we're fun. just going to have a little drink and a little cocktail, yes. a little chat. And then we'll have some trivia too, but we're going to wait for Lee before we do trivia, unless he's, you know, exceptionally late. Then we have to go on without him. <laughs> yeah, but he won't be. He won't be late. Okay, so uh, I think I don't see any questions. So you have the first item. Do I? You do, because you have. Yeah, you do. Okay. That's what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to start with the first item. Um, and I've been doing a little reading about this myself, and I, I found this, it was really cool. It's one of these items that I really wanted to keep for myself, which is just about 80% of everything I purchased. So this is what we call, um, it's made in Mexico. It's a Milagro um, cross. Sorry, this is getting, it's getting, we're getting better at this, but you can see that it has, um, a variety of charms attached to it. And some of you might be familiar with this concept. Alex? Um, okay, so I worked in a, in a Hispanic folk art gallery. That's how I know about these. So in, in Mexico, maybe in other countries in Latin America, you would purchase one of these little milagros. They're like, you know, some of them might be like a heart or there's like a, an arm or a baby. And 
so you're, you're praying for a miracle, you know, it's a miracle. So you take whatever it is, like maybe you want to have a baby. So you buy a little baby Milagro and you take it and you put it on your, uh, your favorite saint statue and pray and pray. And, um, yeah, have a baby. So um, yeah, Milagro yeah. means yeah. miracle. So it, it's just a way of kind of, um, sharing your prayers in a tangible form. Exactly. And then they attached them to a cross but what were you saying? They leave them at the base of a statue. I heard that, I heard that that's a, they leave them at the base of a saint statue in a church, you mm -hmm. know? So, I mean, yeah, it's really cool. So it's about four and a half, half inches um, tall. So that's what this is. It's super cool. Yeah, it's I just, love it's it. It's wood, right? It's wood. It's wood. And, and the, these are metal. Like yeah. there's a hand and a variety of things on there. It's really yeah. sweet. It's an interesting. Where's one. the yardstick? I know, Mom. I mm -hmm. forgot the yardstick. Oh, the tape measure. It's all right. We got a tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> so this item is twenty dollars, and the number is number twenty, number eight. <laughs> so it's number eight, twenty dollars. So if you're interested in purchasing this item, just enter the number eight in the chat. I just thought this was very unique. Um, I love the way um, they just represent things like visually. Like there's something about that to me because I'm a visual person. So I really appreciate like to this to me is more meaningful than words. Cause it's like, there's no, and there's even a little moon on here anyway. So this is um, <laughs> number eight. <laughs> For twenty dollars. Oh, thanks, Chris. We have Chris Humphrey Kaufman, who is also a vendor in our shop, and we're going to get to her another sale. So stay tuned for Chris. <laughs> she has awesome stuff. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put you down for that, Chris. Thank you very much. Oh, that's cool, Chris Boston. Yes, I yes. I well, by the way, we sold Chris yesterday. We sold a snowman. Two bracelets yesterday. Oh, she makes the bracelets. Yeah, the she makes the bracelets, oh, the bracelets in the snowman. Really yeah, beautiful yes. stuff. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. cool. All right. So we got that. Yeah. Okay, guys. So um, what I have um, are some vintage photo albums. I mean, I'm sure that some of you, like me, I have tons of old photos around my house from the 1970s. Um, Maybe you want to put them into a photo album, or you could use these for scrapbooking as well. Well, Lisa, I'm going to need you to measure them. Oh, okay. These are these are what I call new old stock. They were never used, so they're perfect. No one wrote in them. There's like little notes. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what what size photo would this fit? This is a three and a half by three and a half. So it's three a and a half by three and a half <clears throat> square photos fit in both of these. They're really beautiful. They're made in Japan. They're kind of like a satin uh, fabric cover over them. And I'm selling them together, the pair. So they are on number 20 and $18 for two. It's a very good deal. And they're perfect. Yeah, hold your card up there yep. for a little bit. So the other thing about these is they would be great for if somebody collected something small like um, – ephemera, some right. kind of oh, like right. yeah, for stamps or, you know, something like that. So don't think of it just purely as for photographs. For photos. Yeah, right. You can use it to store any of your little bibs and bobs. Um, yeah, and the fabric on them are just gorgeous. They're just pretty the way they are. I mean, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, they would be cool on your mid-century modern coffee table. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> but they're really beautiful. Um, but I would think about that because a lot of times we have collections that don't necessarily have a place to go. This would be perfect for any sort of paper type collection. Like mm -hmm. maybe if you collected um, um, old Valentine's Day cards oh, yeah, or great. something like that. So great. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, we yeah. wish, Tammy. They were a little bigger. So uh -oh. but I actually remember the days when <laughs> photos were three and a half by three and a half. And they had that little scalloped edge oh yeah. do you remember that yeah, I do remember yeah. That. yeah. yeah. Do so they're that. really yeah keep those in mind yep. guys for sure yep okay all right 
Next up for me, these I'm pretty excited about too. So I love these pillows. These these are pillows that have been made from real um, authentic vintage quilts, quilts, vintage quilts. So you can see they're nice and worn in, little tiny bit of fading, just the right amount. The back is just a soft white fabric. They're filled. There's no opening to get into. It's been so so closed. Hey, Chris. Um, but these are, you know, what what the person that makes these does is she takes a, a damaged quilt and she repurposes them into this pillow. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, you can't fake that patina and that wear and that that prettiness there. So these, Wonderful. yeah, they're really cool. And you could, I mean, if you wanted to wash this, you could wash it easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it would be really easy to just yeah. throw in the wash. Sorry, I didn't yeah. mean to. Uh, yeah, even though you can't zip it out, the lining, right. you could still wash it. I would yeah. throw this whole yeah. thing right in the wash because exactly. it's, you know, it's all washable. It yeah. won't shrink. Um, but it's really sweet. It's great for, like, you know, a farm decor or, or farmhouse, country, anything. I would have this on my bed, but I don't really have a decor. Um, so... So, Melissa, thanks for joining. Um, I'll give you a quick update on how things work. We're describing an item. We're giving you the price. And it will be associated with a number. The number will be not in order, but it will be random. And if you're interested in purchasing the item, you just enter the number in the chat. And the first person to enter the number then gets to purchase the item. And uh, once you do that, then you'll have to email us with some information. We can get into that more later. So hope that helps. But anyway, back to this. So we have a few in the shop. They've been cut out from different parts of the um, quilt, but they're, they're super, they're really pretty. Mm -hmm. So this is $22 for the pillow. And the number is 31. So it's $22, number 31. So if you're interested... You would just type 31 in the chat. Oh, really pretty blues. There's some purples, pinks. Ooh, nice. And it looks like Benita Baldwin. You are the first. Yay, Benita. So it happens, Tammy, we have more in the shop. So if you would like one also, um, I will include you as well. Um, I will give this specific one to Benita, and then um, if you're interested, same for you, April. I have I only have three of these, so if all three of you would like a pillow, I can accommodate you. So uh, I'm going to write down Benita Baldwin, Tammy Warren, and. April Boone. So all three of you are eligible to purchase a pillow. So thank you very much. You guys are really special. I think you're going to really the love great them. Pillows. The yeah. Fabulous. Okay, Alex. Okay. Okay. So my next item, it's it's not really vintage, but it's pretty fabulous. This is a, a Helen Kaminsky made in Australia hat. I can get her name so you can see it. It's upside down. Sorry, guys. Want me to try to get it closer? Yes, I can get closer. Yeah. You talk. I'll, I'll hold. Yeah. So yeah, Helen Kaminsky. Um, she makes great hats. This is um, what do you call this? Is this raffia? Yeah, I would it's say raffia. It's raffia. Yeah, they're woven. Grass. Um, it's all natural. Just even the band, like the little band on it, is raffia. It's really fabulous. It's a great, a great sun hat, gardening hat. The Lisa V. Tree <laughs> hat model. <laughs> oh, I'll try God. it on, please. How cute it is. Now, it's a little small for my head. So now what you need to know is I wear a large size hat. This is, is probably, you? I would say it's a medium. What size do you wear? I don't know. Yes, sir. I would not say it's a large. So if you wear a large hat, I would say it's probably, probably like a, a medium. It is. It's probably uh, like medium. 21 inches. Because I when I when I um, measure hats a lot for my head, they're like 21, 21 inches. 21, yeah. So 21 yeah, so inches. Do you all know how to measure your head for a hat? Head, measure your head. So you can do one of two things. You can get a hat. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Drew. <laughs> you can measure around here, and that will be the circumference 
um, that you need to fit a hat. Or the other thing you can do is you can, if you already have a hat, you can measure the inside of that hat, but you'll need a tape okay. measure to yes, do that. Tape measure for sure. So, um, but this is probably the simplest way. And it's super cute. It's kind of, uh, yeah, it's really, it's just a classic hat, a great sun hat. Um, well made. Well made, mm -hmm. yes. So if you're interested, it's number 24 and it's $38. Helen Kaminsky hat made in Australia. Let me see the inside. So yeah, it has that sweatband with, with their name on it, which might seem simple, but that's intentional. It is, that's her style yeah. totally, yeah. yeah. And it's also, it's it has purpose. You know, it collects the sweat. I mean, this is pristine. This hasn't been yeah, no. sweated in. <laughs> but that, that's the purpose of that sweatband. So it's a beauty. So yep. perfect for the summer it's coming up. Perfect for the summer, exactly, yep. Okay. What's next? Okay, I have um, something. Oh, I really love this. Oh, what okay. is that? So what I have here is a sweet. sterling silver spoon, and it's a tiny one. So would anyone know what this tiny of a spoon would be used for? I mean, like, it's little. Like, it's like... The tip of my finger, a little bigger. And it has, so it has this um, sailboat at the top and a little. It's like a shell. Isn't yeah, it? like, like a, a clam shell. shell. Oh my gosh, I need a mannequin. Oh, Lord, that's bad. Okay, and then you, it's probably hard to see it, but it says, it says Thousand Islands. Oh, thousand Islands. Yeah, it's been engraved. So. Was that like a souvenir kind yes. of thing? A souvenir of the Thousand Islands? Yes. But does it have a purpose? Good question. Does it have a purpose? What are you, you asking me or I'm, I'm just wondering if you display it like on your little spoon, you know, spoon holder as a collection or if it, you use well, it for something. What could you, what would you use it for? Thank you, Susan. Yeah, I would guess I would guess it would be a Demitas spoon. Okay. But um so but it's it's really lovely and this in this really old fashioned engraving in the bowl of the spoon. I, I don't know if you can read it. Sorry, there's so much reflection here. There we go. To see, yeah. So it's a thousand islands. I love that little clamshell. I know. So cute. And it's just this old timey hand engraved scrolled. Um, Maureen, it could have been for sugar as well. Mm -hmm. um, typically, more than likely, it was just a souvenir. Um, but it probably wasn't intended to be used, but like, how adorable is that? And it's actually Mark Sterling Silver on the back. I need better readers, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's like between the clamshell and the, there we go, mm -hmm. and the bowl. But it is Mark Sterling. It's lovely. Um, Really special. I went to Thousand Islands as a child. Did you ever go there? I, I never did. My mother did when my mother was little. Yeah. When, you know, my mother's from upstate New York. So. Oh yeah, they yeah. A, they had a cousin. They had a cottage. Yeah, there. it was. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a um, place I would love to go to. Yeah, um, Tammy, that would have been an elegant baby spoon. Let me tell you, that's. Oh yeah. But it's possible. I guess anything is possible. Okay, so this little spoon, sterling silver, <laughs> Thousand <laughs> Islands. Sailboat clamshell. It's $24 and it's number 11. Number 11 for $24. Such yeah, it's really special, you guys. Anybody that has a nautical thing going on or loves boats or clams <laughs> or Thousand Islands <laughs> or sterling silver. So it's number 11, $24. Alex. Okay. Okay, Lisa. You're oh, gonna, you're gonna help me with this because you. Wait you, a minute. You, Alan Vitri just bought that silver spoon. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Mom. I think you've already seen these, <laughs> <laughs> but you can have it. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I got to get up close so you can see this. So this yeah. is um this is a George Briard. Um little serving dish with an attached little fork. 
than you. Right. Because right? apparently I mean, <laughs> they couldn't keep track of their farms. No, they couldn't. <laughs> so, so Lisa, like, what would you, what would you serve? What would you serve out of this? Like pickles or something? I would or say like, pickles or olives. Olives. That would be good. So yeah. like a condiment dish, sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Um, but this very mid-century. Totally. Nice. That's right, mom. Oh my gosh! They went there. My parents went there on their honeymoon. But they did to Thousand Islands. Yes, that was so cool. I, I forgot that. all about that. I love that. Okay, that's wonderful. I might even give yeah. that to you, Mom. Yeah. You don't you have should. to pay. It's a gift. Um. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, this Ooh. is this is the perfect little serving dish if you're into mid-century modern. It's gold. It's got like a gold uh, little kind of like bird pattern on it. Yeah, let me I mean, hold it up closer. Yeah. Yeah. George Briard. Uh, is a well-known like line or designer from mid-century, probably in the '60s. Yeah, but he loved his birds. Like, let me see if I can. This show was like you. this was like the wedding, like the wedding gifts that yeah. you got back then, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. So it's metallic yeah. gold, and the fork is gold as well. So I'm thinking probably not salsa, Tammy, because it's a fork. Um, unless you really like chunky salsa, yeah, it wouldn't work. <laughs> But Dina, it would be perfect for a shrimp cocktail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dina's always thinking more shrimp cocktail. Yeah, elegantly yeah. than we yeah. are. I oh, know. I like olives. I think olives would yeah. be great. Yeah. But it's really pretty. It's in yes. good condition. It's perfect. Um, so it's number 22 and it's $24. George Briard. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. $24 for 20, number 22. It would be a great way to start a little mid-century collection oh, as totally, well. Totally, yeah, yeah, if you're looking for glassware from yep, that time period. For sure. Yep. And you'll never lose your fourth. I'm just I saying. Know. I know, right? Something to keep in mind. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do before I forget about it is I'm wearing this necklace. So this is a two-strand crystal. Austrian crystal. Aus ah, I think Austrian? Well, I think that's where it usually came from. It's usually Austin, Austin yeah. crystal. I mean, this is a lot of sparkle. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. For your buck. Let's just say that. <laughs> and it's cut. It's crystal. It's cut. through mm -hmm. cut beads. Faceted beads. Um, has a simple ring closure in the back. So let me take it off so you can see it. You know, I would say typical of the 50s. Mm -hmm. Maybe the 60s. Ooh, Mr. Scantleberry is joining us. Hold on. Who's this? Add to stream. Is that you, Lee oh, Berry? Hi. Oh, I didn't know Lee's last name. Hi, Lee. Hi. Sorry to be so late. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, You're good. That's okay. We've been just yeah. keeping track yeah. and um, while you've been gone. Everybody might not know, uh, this is Lise, Lise, our CTO, our Chief Technology Officer, and she, uh, Cat Wrangler. <laughs> um, Lee's going to be, um, Dina says hello. Um, Lee will be, going forward, Lee will be calling out the winners, and he will also be helping us keep track of the trivia. Um, He's a big help to us. And whenever Lee really works in the shop, it's inappropriate discounts for everyone. So just oh. bear that in mind. <laughs> that's right. That's what I do. That, that joke never gets old. That's from, you know, many years ago when he was handing out discounts <laughs> regularly. I'm kidding. It's okay. No, I was. <laughs> but, hey, whatever works. Hi, oh. Dina. Hi, Chris. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just you off video yeah and then but i don't i'm hoping i don't move you remove. i'll do it i'll mute my all right you do that okay but i have to tell you. hold on if i lose you just come back are you still there lee oh did you mute him i don't think i muted him That's the mute mic. there he is can you hear me lee okay yeah, I can't hear you. Hold on. Okay, T technology problems. <laughs> um, we don't want to kick you from the studio. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, can you rejoin? I'm sorry, I think I know what I did now. Lee and I met, by the way, when we worked in a technology company together. So you can't tell. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. wow. We worked, uh, you know, in IT, which you probably couldn't guess by this uh, situation we're currently in. Um, he's. We're just waiting for him to rejoin. Anyway, back to the necklace. There's two strands. It's a simple ring closure. Just really pretty. Lots of Aurora Borealis exactly, colors. Yeah. You get the blue and the pink. Okay. Yeah. Lee, you're back. So I know what I got to do. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. We can hear you. Now I'm just disappearing you, hopefully. Hold on. She's <laughs> ghosting me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it just takes a little time to figure this stuff out. Okay. So anyway, it's super great, you guys. It's it's fun. It adds a little zhuzh to any outfit you're wearing. And I'm going to measure it. So it's about 19 inches. So two strands. So this lovely item is uh, $20 and it's number nine. So the crystal Aurora Borealis clear crystal cut glass necklace, nine, number nine is $20. If you're interested, just pop the number nine in the chat. Oh, that's exhausting. Getting that technology right. <laughs> Hi, Jim Z. Oh, Jim Z. Hi, Jim Z. Here's the next item is a lovely tray, a round tray. When do you think this is from, at least like 60s, 70s? I would say 60s. And this is that like, um, it's oh, like the, what, what, do, they, what do you call this? It's kind of, it's wood, but it's, um, there's a name for it. It's like wood, fake wood stuff. No, I don't know. I don't know. Jim but, probably knows. Jim Z, do you know what you, what you call this? It's like, is it Scirocco? Does that sound right? I don't no. know. I don't know. It's just it's a cool it's a cool tray to have like you know to yeah. use for display or you could use it like on a bar cart or something. Right. Really fun. Um, so anyways, this tray is on number twenty seven and it's fifteen dollars if you're interested. Probably made in Japan. That's where yeah. most of this stuff came from, Japan. Um, it's in good condition. Yeah, that is just solid. It has yeah. a great like vintage vibe. Great for the kitchen, yeah. for your bar. Yep. Ooh, yep. Melissa. Melissa. Yeah. You got it. I got it. Oh, did Melissa buy that? Yes. Oh, Melissa. Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, it's really fun. It's fun. It is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what it'd be great for, too, is like put little cheese and crackers on there. Oh, totally. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's very like, um, it's very kind of, it has a Chianti bottle on it. That's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. Here's to that. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Mm. Hi, Sandra. Thanks for joining. Okay. So, next thing I'm going to um, share with you is a piece of Pyrex. So, this lovely piece, so it's a small um, casserole, it's round. And I think you should, oh, I think you should, I think you should measure that because it, it, yeah. it looks bigger when I see it up there than it really is. Oh, that's nice true. And, Good point. Here, measure. You know? Yeah, yeah. So like, well, it's this way, right? Yeah. It's so like six and a half. Six yeah. and a half. So it's six and a half diameter. Yeah. yeah. It does not have a cover. It's just the uh, casserole itself. It is the Amish buttermilk pattern in blue. And you can see the it's Amish nice. people and the chickens and the corn and the etc. on the bottom. It is marked Pyrex on the bottom. And it is number two. So butter print, Amish butter print, Jim. Yes. Thank you. Um, so before I give you any more additional information on this, I just want you to know I have two additional pieces up there in the um, hutch that I'm going to be uh, offering next too. So 
these are not necessarily a complete set, but they all match. The patterns all match. So it's, you know, it's a kind of a small one. You can see it sitting in my hand, but it's, it's really cute. I mean, it'd be great. You don't have to use it as a casserole. Most people who collect pyre Pyrex keep it pretty pristine in their collection. So there's no damage. There's no wear. There's no fading, really. No, there's great. one tiny little tiny, 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 like, like little tiny mark, maybe scratch. And it's literally like a 16th of an inch. It's hard to even show it to you. So this piece, keeping in mind there's two more coming, is $15 number 12. $15 number 12. And I just love this pretty baby blue color in the white inside. Yeah, really pretty. Oops, that's number 12, $15. Can you help me hold these? Yes. Okay, so these are a pair of, um, they're just like the little plaques and they have primroses on them. I want to say that they're like maybe Italian. Sorry. I'm, I'm a huge help. Sorry. I'm a huge yeah. help. Go ahead. Um, do you think they're from, they're from Italy, maybe? Yeah. Because it looks like that Italian, that Florentine gold style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they have like a... Um, ah. there's, there's no hallmark on them, but... Yeah, there's no hallmark, but you see the hand-painted gold edging, which is very common of that Florentine um, kind of Hollywood Regency. Exactly, Hollywood Regency style. Yeah, and then they have these ribbons. So it's like a ribbon running... Through the uh, the wood, right at the bottom. So they're just they're just kind of sweet. They're yeah. pretty. So they're like gold, and they have some purple and the green. And that one is like the yellow. So you could just put them maybe on a plate stand, mm -hmm. or pop them up on a shelf. Mm -hmm. um, and they could be hung from their little ribbon. You just need a little nail. So that's true. Same thing. Yeah, just put a little um, nail and hang them. Yeah, they'd look great in a little bedroom setting or in a vanity area. Just very sweet. Springy. It's very springy. Springy. This is my spring item. Very primrosy. <laughs> primrosy. <laughs> okay, so the primroses are number twenty-three and twenty-eight dollars for the pair. Twenty-three, twenty-eight. Yeah, and this is applied, um, it's like a decoupage flower, but the edge has all been hand painted. Very sweet. Why can I not do this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, you're making me not be able to do it. Okay. We're getting sorry. Really wobbly. Sorry. It's okay. Yep, we're good. Well, we have a taker for number 12, Lee. Oh, we lost Lee. Okay. Lee. Uh -oh. Lee? <laughs> it looks like Maureen. Looks like Maureen to you, Lee. Oh, wait, I can't hear you, bud. And came back. So you you have to put me over there again, I think. Okay, I think I got you. I'm gonna take you off the screen. And yep. you see Maureen for number I two. did. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Well oiled machine. <laughs> <laughs> I have two different devices I'm operating with three different applications. So CTO's having a little trouble here. Okay. Okay. You're doing fine. You're doing finely. Okay, is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay. So the next item um hold on. is a scarf. And it is a hundred percent silk. Sunflowers. And it is sunflowers from my girl Jody. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a hundred percent silk. It is an absolutely beautiful condition. Is it um so what is the color in the background? It's gray, like a light light gray. Yeah, I would say it's a light blue gray. Okay. And then beautiful sunflowers. Really gorgeous. It's made in Japan. Yeah. Which in our world, you guys, is not bad. Japan is good. It's good. Yeah. Um, they made very quality items like this. It's a square, right? It's a, it's yeah. a square. Yep. It's a square. And um, it has a rolled edge. But I can't tell if it's hand sewn or not. Which, you know, when you're looking at um, vintage scarves, um, mm -hmm. in particular silk scarves, um, and you want to look for a hem that's rolled. Hand rolled. 
hand rolled and then hand sewn. Um, I, don't think, I don't think this is hand rolled. Yeah. No, because you can see it's kind of machine. It's right. it's a beautiful scarf. That's it's not. I like, mean, say that it's not beautiful. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Doesn't but take away from it. No, not at but all. it's something to keep an eye out for. So if you do thrift, you go to estate sales. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, for uh, you can tell. You can actually tell. It's like hand rolled. It's um, and then you'll see the hand stitching. I mean, those are just valued more because they're all hand done. But this, nonetheless, is absolutely gorgeous and 100% silk. So it's $22, which is a pretty good deal. Really good and deal. Six. Yeah. And it's number six. Number six, $22. So $22, number six. Thanks, Melissa. I really appreciate that. So um, in the meantime, I should just wear this. I'm gonna grab a scarf. Um, so it's perfect for spring, summer. I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Or you could do this. Yeah. Next, next yeah, we're gonna do a video on scarf tying. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't hang myself. Oh, nice. And Jeanette. Uh, it looks like Jeanette was in first, so. Yes. Uh -oh. Thank you, Jeanette. Uh -oh. But look beautiful. how beautiful. I would tie it in the front like this or something yeah, like that. Also, you could use it like a little. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. I haven't been having too much more, but just like a little shawl like that. So very I pretty. It. I love it. It's a very happy scarf. Congratulations, Jeanette. It's a beautiful scarf. Okay. That's number six. You know what? I think yeah. we should do trivia. Oh, trivia. Yeah, we need to do trivia. Lee, sure. We're going to do trivia now. Trivia. Um, Because you, uh, I think we're overdue, actually, so. Okay. So it's all about spring this week. Yes. Which it certainly has been, right? Or a little summer in there for, mm -hmm. for us, at least. Mm -hmm. um, so the first question is, the first day of spring is called the vernal equinox. The term vernal means, in Latin, spring. What does equinox in Latin mean? First mm -hmm. correct answer in wins a special prize. Now I have to go back and see who's answering. So remember we're, we're um, the first person to guess um, gets a, a free gift from Pat Eisenstadt, a set of five of her beautiful cards. So, and we don't care how you get the answer. We don't want to know how you got it. We'd like to think that you know this, right. but you know, Latin. Did you take Latin in school? No, no, no. no. we my know mother, my mother. So, so I'm going to give it to Benita, who was first in. Okay. Um, she said equal day and night, and it it the, it literally means equal day, but she's exactly right. It's equal day and night. So, congratulations. Yeah. Nicely Yay. done, Benita. Good job, Benita. Well done. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Alice. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to need you to model. Because you're a very good model. Because I have a lovely blue silk. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Earthquake. This is Ralph Lauren. Oh my God. Look how big it is. It's huge. Oh, it's that um, burned. Yeah. Uh, what do they call it? Like a burn? burnout. Burnout. So burnout. it's like kind of sheer. Sheer. It's like a paisley, paisley pattern on it. It's a rectangular scarf. Um, here you go, Lisa. <laughs> go for it. It's, oh, it's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. You guys. Yeah, it's like a shawl scarf, Ooh. really. Yeah, and it's like a pale blue, pale, pale blue. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't hang myself. <laughs> don't hang yourself. Okay, just drape it. Oh, lovely. This is fabulous. Yeah, yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, so it's a nice, like, for summer. Did you find a little, um, where's the little Ralph Lauren thing here? Let's and see. here's the little Ralphie tag right here. Ralphie. Ralphie. <laughs> it's a our real favorite. deal. We love our Ralph <laughs> Lauren. Lauren. Yep. Yes. Yeah. So 100% silk. And I would blue. say, how long? Let's measure it. I wish I had my yardstick. No, oh my gosh. I mean, it's long, you guys. You can wear it. 
It's oh. longer than it's, it's longer like, than our measuring tape. Uh oh. So it's sixty. It's probably seventy, at least probably seventy, 70 inches. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really lovely, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few tips. So you can do this. Fold it in half. So first of all, you fold it like this. Fold it in half. You would juice it up a little better than I am, but and then you loop it through. Like that. So still got plenty, and you can kind of do this. You can tighten it up. That's cute, Probably right? Was, or you can loosen it up. Like that. Mm -hmm. So, or you can. I do this like a loop around. <laughs> and then you can tuck it in, which is kind of cute too. I like it. That's a good right. color on you, Miss. Yeah, I might. Yeah. What, what do you ask? <laughs> okay. This is number 26 and it's $22. Ralph Lauren blue silk scarf. Yeah. You could wear it as a babushka too. You could. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> she was <looked> biblical. <laughs> she did. <laughs> so Lisa, there, there are. There are two questions on the chat that I'm not qualified to answer. So. Okay. On the what? Oh, do you have a pitch tape? You know what? Um, we have lots of tablecloths, Melissa. I don't think we have anything um, in tonight's sale, no, but I can about. certainly, you know, we can reach out to you and give you some details. Would that help? It would be helpful to know what size you're looking for and if you're looking for any other specifics in terms of color and pattern and error out that kind of thing would if that's okay if you would send us a little information we'll we'll hunt something down for you um can you show the other yes tammy i will do that i promise uh i will show you the other pillows um okay so oh, good Thank is you. anybody interested in the rough scarf it's just that one right that's it yeah keep it the one yeah number 26 22 dollars that is really it's beautiful yeah Stunning. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Is it my turn again? It's I feel new. like I just went. <laughs> okay. Um, let me do this. I'm a super cool. Um, yeah. I love plant books. It's a plant book. Um, the total book of house plants. And I was wondering about this. I thought, because it's a vintage book. Mm -hmm. And I thought, have houseplants changed at all over the years? Oh, totally. You think so? I do. You really? know, I mean, the plants that my mom had in our house were different from plants now. They're different plants. So I'm just looking for the date on this. Oh. I think houseplants, but styles, it's like styles of pets, of dogs. Yeah, so yeah. They change, yeah. Anyway, the illustrations, I'm sorry, we're having like a side conversation. Okay, but there's, um, oh, number 26 went to yep. I got it. Jeanette, oh, I think it's Jeanette. Jeanette got it. You love it. Oh, Jeanette, it's cool. It's going to be a summer scarf. So anyway, it has the original dust jacket. has absolutely stunning illustrations. You can see it here. There's just some examples here. Very thorough and detailed. And I know, like, there's a big plant revolution going on right now. I think it's because we have all spent so much time at home. This is super cool. I love this. This is like you oh, can terrarium. a terrarium. Information about a terrarium. And then this crazy page. Oh, here's some things about tools. Like kitchen spoon. What else would you use? <laughs> I do use kitchen spoon. <laughs> and then there's um there's this other, like there's all kinds of information and details. And it's just a really pretty book. So this is, let's see, let me find a really pretty page here. So this oh, is all orchids. about orchids. We love orchids. Yeah, I'm trying to keep alive an orchid right now that. All my orchids are blooming. I know. Stop all talking. Four. I'm sorry, all four are blooming. Stop it never happens. Stop telling me that. No, you just got your orchid, though. It takes yeah. time. Well, it takes time. half dead now. So. It's not dead. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So oh, where's, where's my, my numbers? Do I have a number? Definitely. Yeah, looking. 
Okay. Don't panic. Nobody panic. Don't panic. Anyway, I can tell you, we'll make it double zero if it's not on there. I did a search on books, so I didn't get it. Okay. So this is um, number double zero, fifteen dollars. Number double zero, fifteen dollars. I'm sorry. There's just some days. <laughs> we were here to together working on this all afternoon. <laughs> and it's really, it's a great book. It is. Fifteen dollars. Oh, remember the spider plants? I love, I, love I love them. And they were the easiest to like they propagate. Are. Because then you get the little baby spiders. And you yeah. So number, this okay. is number double zero, fifteen dollars for the plant book. Okay. At least you have the models. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the modeling. I don't know if I can even get this. Can I get this on the screen? I don't even know. Okay, this is a this is a crazy thing. This is like this is actually a two-piece vest and bell-bottom pants from <laughs> the 1960s. It looks like did you ever watch Laughing? You probably didn't because you're not as old as I. Um, like they would Sock wear it to me. Sock it to me. Okay. So Elisa, could you model the vest, please? No. Please. Oh, would you just put it on? Okay. This is the hardest. This is the hardest thing. It's like, so this this is a real deal. This was sold, believe it or not, it's very cool and amazing, but it came from the Sears store. It's a Sears label. Okay. I think this was a, for, a, for a man. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a man's cut. So these, are, like, these are the pants. These are like bell-bottom pants. And they actually, the interesting thing, oh, that looks good. It actually fits. <laughs> <laughs> these Pants have a drawstring. They have a zipper and a drawstring. So, and okay. one pocket in the back. At least I get up there and model that. So, oh I gosh. know this probably seems outlandish to most people. <laughs> <laughs> and even to us, it, it does. does. We live through it. But, it you know, weird. what you have to realize is Alex and I sell very beautiful vintage clothing online. This is really a special piece. So we kind of, you know, this is our thing. We oh, brought, sorry we about that. We things from landfill. Yeah. Okay. This is, I mean, if you're going to go to a party, like a Halloween party, you want to dress up like the 1960s or 70s. Like this is the real, the real deal. So what I would do with this is I would hang it on the wall as an art piece. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, there is a question about what the fabric is. We're guessing polyester. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a cotton, a duck, a cotton yeah. duck. So it's, a, it's got a little stiffness to it, almost like a denim. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and it yeah, has never been washed, you guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not poly, it's not polyester. No, it's really cool. It Actually, is. the vest is not bad. Like I'm thinking, the vest is not. I mean, it's not. You know, I mean, you could wear this with jeans and a. You totally could, yeah. I mean, are we talking ourselves into this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just a very, I mean, you don't you don't find stuff like this anymore. This is very unusual. Yeah. Um, for something to not have been worn, it's not damaged, it's not soiled, it is in, like, pristine condition. It's perfect. So, yeah. anyways, so this is, um, it's number 29, and it's $55. If anyone's interested. Yeah. And selling this online would garner probably twice or three times that amount. So, yeah, so super cool. Someone went to Sears and bought this. <laughs> you, what was Sears like in the 1960s? I don't, I don't know, but my father, oh, my father would never have bought this. So yeah. I mean, it's just bizarre. Yeah. Anyways, it's okay. super cool. Like, it's not for everybody, you guys, but it's, you know, if you're a vintage clothing collector or you're in love with the 60s, early 70s, yeah, you would. You yeah. want that? Okay. okay. So I'm up next. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do something quick. Um, I'm going to show those two pillows for Tammy real oh, quick. Yeah, pillows. Tammy, are you are you paying attention? <laughs> are you watching? No. So these are the two other pillows. So this one, and this one. 
You can see there a little it's bit. Deeper, it's more green than the other one. I don't know what's yeah, green. yeah, a little bit. Yeah. She's watching. I see. Yeah. Um, Carolyn, any handbags? Yes, we have one handbag coming up, Carolyn. Yours it's huge, yeah. You know. Yeah. So, Tammy, if you want to say if there either one of these super appeals to you, this is my left hand. This is my right hand. So let us know. Okay. Sorry. Just a little bit of side business there. Okay. Next up, I have something. Um, Pretty special. Um, so yes, Carolyn, stick with us. We have a handbag coming up. Um, this is a uh, an absolutely beautiful statue. Uh, okay, sorry, Tammy. Maybe it won't work out. Apologize. Um, so this is uh, a beautiful Saint Joseph. Do you recognize Joseph? Who do you think that is? Um, Jim, who is this? Jim, see, I don't think they see Joseph because of his hair. But I see he's wearing the Franciscan. Um, is it is it Saint Anthony of Padua? Jim. Okay, so our friend Jim Z has provided this for the sale tonight. Jim is a vintage seller as well. This is an absolutely beautiful German made Goebel religious statue. St. Anthony. St. Anthony of Padua. Thank you. Sorry, I got it wrong. Um, St. Anthony. I think Francis has the animals. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Anthony. Um, Tammy, unfortunately not, because once she makes the quilts, you know, she uses the quilts up and then, you know, so, and I always, I only bought three from that quilt. So I'll keep an eye out for you. If I come across any, I will definitely be in touch. Um, sorry. So this is St. Anthony. Jim, you told me that and I forgot. I'm sorry. But you can just see the quality of the paint, the faces. He's holding, uh, the baby is holding an apple. Mm -hmm. Jesus, baby Jesus is holding an apple. I'm a terrible Catholic, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You're fine. It's very, it's beautifully detailed. The statue, it's in perfect condition. Yeah. There's no, there's no chips. Yeah, yeah. Just stunning. And where is it made? So it's made in Germany. It's marked on the bottom, and it is Goebel. Goebel made the um, uh, hummels. 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 <laughs> hummels. For your etagere. This is my item, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you see the Germany. Goebel is the company that made Hummel figures. Thank you, Jim. And you'll see it also says say cart, say cart at the bottom, and there's some the Goebel. Is that the Goebel mark, Jim? This one here? Size. Thank you, Mom. He is about nine and a half inches. So he's, you know, hand painted, gorgeous detail on his face. He's got rosy cheeks. He's just lovely. So. And very often we sell the religious statue, but they're mm -hmm. um, they're the chalk ware. This yeah. is not. This is ceramic. This is beautifully painted ceramic from Germany. So this is number three for twenty six dollars. Number three for twenty six dollars. He's got little sandals on. He's wonderful. Ah, oh, the B in the V is the mark for Goebel. Number three, twenty-six dollars, and this is the mark Jim's talking about. The B and the B, really lovely. Thanks, Jim. Jim is one day going to be on one of these sales with us, and um, 
This is number three, twenty-six dollars. He sells in two different uh, malls, uh, antique malls. He has excellent taste. He does. And I've known him since I was a very young girl. <laughs> he's a, he's a great guy. Okay, Maureen, good to know. We have a couple in the store right now. Maureen's asking about um, chalkware. So, oh, yeah. Maureen, yeah. We can, we'll reach out to you. Maybe we'll send you a couple of photos of what we have in the store. We have a couple of... We have an infant of Prague. Yeah. I have two gorgeous infant of, yeah. of Prague. With, the, like, with the gowns on them. They're right? giant. Yeah. They're huge. Does yeah. infant of Prague uh, appeal to you, Maureen? Um, uh, Melissa, it is available. Okay. Maureen, we'll take care of that. Melissa, it's available if, if Tammy's not interested in one of the pillows, Tammy, if you're no longer interested in a pillow, one of the pillows will be available. Melissa, let's just let us know Tammy either way. So, okay, okay. lady. Okay. Should we do it? Should we do the purse? I brought one. Yeah, we'll do the purse, but Carolyn. You, you, have, you have to model all these things. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. You're my model. Okay, so okay, thanks, Tammy. Um, Melissa, if you would like one of the pillows, we can put you down for that. Just confirm for us, Melissa, and we'll we'll add you on. Lee, I'm going to have to get back to you with that, those details so you can fill in the spreadsheet. Okay. okay. So this is not a vintage purse, but it's just a fabulous leather handmade handbag. Jazz MB. He's an Indian designer out of London. I love his purses. And this is something that I bought for myself, but it's just too much purse for me. <laughs> Okay. So it's it's just the right a purse for me. It's, it's a fabulous, like a travel purse. Um, you could put a you could put a laptop in there, right, Elisa? Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. A laptop or a um, tablet would fit in here beautifully. So it's black leather. You so, can un yeah. you can take the uh, strap off. It unhooks. This is all brass. Um, these purses are handmade in England. They're just. Beautifully detailed. They're really cool. Super soft leather. This is paper on that. Yeah, I'm but you can just see it's very clean inside. There's no staining. There's no dirt. Um, the leather is supple and beautiful. Brass hardware. And then you can also do over the shoulder. Yes. Yeah. And then you could, like I said, you could take the you can take the strap off too if you don't want to use that. You can just take it off and put it inside. There's a side zipper here. Yeah. So this is a great, like a travel travel bag, you know? I mean, Italians know what they do, what they're doing when it, for certain things. <laughs> for leather, they really have it locked down. It's gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is number 19, and it's $95. It probably retails for like $450 if you were to buy it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's in his shoppy. Handmade, like somebody cut this leather, somebody sewed this leather, they assembled it by hand. You know, it's gorgeous, stunning. I know, I like it. <laughs> this looks good with your outfit. <laughs> I like this. No, this is why we're. Oh, where, uh, where are we? We, we try to sell. Well. We try to sell things. <laughs> Uh, I'm just wondering if my cousin Kyle is on the line because I would like to say hello to him. Uh, the, the trivia questions are about every 10 items we sell, Tammy. And a couple more items, we'll do another one. A couple more items, yep. Tammy. Um, if my cousin Kyle is on the line, <laughs> we would like to know where your wife is. <laughs> okay. My mother's asking. Um, okay. okay, so that means it's my turn. It's your turn. Okay, so I have this really okay. sweet little hand blown. Uh -huh. It looks like a bubble, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it a vase? Like it's Shibas. a little vase. So you can oh, see sweet. the opening. And it's like an opalescent glass. It's a very, oh you can see the bottom has been polished. So it's hand blown. So it's 
slightly imperfect. You know, you can see a little wobble, a little wave here and there. <laughs> but you can also see the bluish tinge in it. Um, but in some cases when they blow glass, you know, they either leave a rough bottom, pontal, as they call it, or they polish it. And this has been polished. So it's a kind of a sign of quality. Um, it's not always the case, but so this was a hand blown um, vase. It's really pretty. It looks great, like in front of a window. Yeah, I love it. It's, it's pretty. It's, it's there's no. It's perfect. There's yeah. No, there's no schmutz in it. No yeah. schmutz. <laughs> no schmutz. <laughs> no schmutz. <laughs> because we deal with that. You, you know that's what like, do you call that sick glass? You told me sick that. Sick glass. Oh, sick glass. You know, have you ever bought like ever seen like um, a vase or something that has it's like all cloudy inside and you. Mm -hmm into it to clean it yeah. they it's call a, that sick glass this is a problem and there are ways to clean that so we'll do another video on that but oh. we like we sometimes you can use like um po this. Polydent, polydent, polydent. Like but, that it, did, but it didn't work did it it did i i needed to do it a few times okay. for it to work so, yeah. polydent, so those bubbles it will clear you know help you know, imagine you're cleaning dentures, so it's, it's strong enough to clean that glass surface. Mm -hmm. Or the other thing I heard recently is you put rice in it with the liquid and some soap, and you yes. just swish it around, and the abrasion from the rice, yeah, from the rice takes it off. Yeah. yeah, actually cleans the inside. Yeah. Anyway, so this item is fourteen dollars it's hand blown it's okay. really adorable i measured it and i forgot already hold on a minute it would be a very nice gift yeah it's i like think four and a quarter inches tall it's a great little butt base mm -hmm. so it's fourteen dollars number one fourteen dollars number one fourteen dollars number one okay. Yeah, it's really, I love that. It kind of reminds me of me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. And we have a sale. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so since we're doing bases. This is a like a mid-century modern. This is blown glass, right, Elise? Would you say? Yeah, it's blown. Oh, yeah. It could be Murano. It's kind of a orangey amber mm -hmm. and clear. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just twisted. A, yeah. Twisted, yeah. It's just a just a bud base. So like one one rose. Yeah, let me get it closer. Yeah. You talk. Yeah. Um, Look at that base. Yeah, the base is cool. It's really pretty. Now this glass we have to talk about, it has a little sickness inside of it. I cleaned it as best I could, but somebody used it. That's the problem when you actually use these, you know, for a vase and put a flower in with water. Sometimes you get some residue in there and it is... Um, this is clean now. It's pretty clean. Yeah. yeah it's it's, pretty it's clean. not pristine. Yours is pristine. This one is not pristine, but it's, it's pretty clean. We'll send you some yeah. Polygent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. pretty because like the foot is like a, a clear, and then the, so the base the base looks like a flower when you yeah. look at it. So it's, a, it's fluted, twisted, fluted flower. Yeah, when you hold it like this, it looks like a flower. It does. It's like a flower. Yeah. So anyway, so this is a uh, mid-century. It's uh, number twenty-one. It's twenty-four dollars. I'm really into the colored glass these days. Oh, I know. I mean, it's I have true. been, and then I wasn't, and I have been. <laughs> You're back now, into I'm it. back into You're it. You're very yeah. fickle. I am very fickle. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Well, it looks good in the window. Yeah, I love the it. In the light. In Actually, the light. we need yeah. to show this the light behind it. Yeah. Oh, you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Great deal. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Paper scarf. It's right next to you. Okay. Because it's, uh, it's got hands all about you. Yes, that's yes. true. Okay, so this is, I have another mm -hmm. scarf. This one is absolutely, oh, it's beautiful. Wait a minute. Wrong one. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's tulips this time. Tulips and other spring flowers. So it has a gray background, navy blue edging, yellow, orange, yellow, yep. yellow, and red. <laughs> but it has those like parrot tulips on it. 
So it's really beautiful. This one has the hand rolled edges and, um, I know it's really hard to see, but it has hand rolled edges, hand sewn. Yeah, you can always tell because they're kind of they're kind of plump. You know, they're like they're yeah, they're not. Um, mm -hmm. But this one's great. It almost has a um, well, it's it has a sort of a it's definitely a spring look to it because of the tulips. And I'll bring it up closer so you can see the beautiful flowers: red, yellow, blue gray, green, navy blue on the edges, hand rolled, hand sewn yeah. edges. Um, we're not, we don't I, believe this I, is silk. I think this is silk. I do. She I think, thinks it's I silk. I think it's silk. I think it's quality. polyester. I don't. I think it's silk um, because of the hand rolled edges and because just of the quality of the, um, of the pattern. It's beautiful. It's, it doesn't have a hallmark on it though, right? There's no hallmark. No, there's no, there's no tag. And it's yeah. really nice quality, guys. It's square. It's huge. I think it's silk. Um, it's silk slash polyester. We, we not sure. because okay, this is one of the challenges we run into with vintage um, textiles and clothing, is because you know if things aren't marked, and we're not fabric experts, which right. we're not. Yeah, yeah. There's certain things you can sort of gauge and guess, but for the most part, you can't. You know, you can't guarantee. So. Anyway, it's a beautiful, very quality. This is polyester. It's very good. Polyester. Very. Good. <laughs> okay. Well, That's and you don't, I and yeah. I get why Alex is saying this because you don't yeah. usually see hand rolled, hand sewn edges on a polyester right. scarf. Exactly. Um, you don't. Right. Anyway, it's uh, twenty-two dollars, and it's seven number seven. Twenty-two dollars number seven for the parrot. Is it parrot tulips? Yeah, parrot, parrot, yeah. parrot the, tulips. The curly, the curly tulips. <clears throat> oh, Bill, thank you. Yes, thank you, Bill. That's excellent information. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send it to you and you can test it. <laughs> what did he say? What did Bill say? Oh, it's complicated. Um, so, this number seven, number 20, or $22. Thank you, though. No, it's good. Like, and the other thing you can do, usually it's when you feel silk, it's kind of what I refer to as picky. So like your mm -hmm. hand doesn't run smoothly across it. You feel like it picks up the little edges of your skin. Now, not in a sense that it's rough, but just in the sense that you can feel the pickiness of it. Do you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Because yeah, when I feel true. this, yeah. This usually polyester is super smooth, super mm -hmm. sleek, you know. So it's a toss up, but it's a deal at twenty two dollars either way because it's a uh, it's a beautiful stud. Okay. Hey, what do you think about another trivia question? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, trivia. trivia. Yes. What do, what do we? Uh, what's what's the prize for this one? Oh, the prize is another box of beautiful yes. Eisenstadt Vintage Vision cards created from her mother-in-law's drawings from the 1950s. These were department store drawings used in advertisements that she and her family have recreated into cards and journals. So, okay. So another spring question. Let me preface this by saying there may be many answers to this, and this might take a while to get it, <laughs> but I'm only looking for three answers to the following question. But again, there are many answers. So name three holidays that occur in spring. And I would define spring March 21st to June 21st. So yeah. people within those time periods, name any three holidays. And as we like to say, we don't care how you get your answers. We just want to, don't want to know about it. <laughs> but um, this is science, Bill. That's awesome. There you go. <laughs> Bill, thank you for joining. Okay, so we need three holidays. Because there's what, Lee? There's like 10 or something yeah, like yeah, that? A lot of options. Yeah. Uh, let's see how many. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three. Yeah, so there's nine uh, that they consider holidays. But if you put one on the list that isn't on this list, but we all agree it's a holiday, then you're going to get it. 
<laughs> okay, so let let me do the. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay. Yes. So Drew, our first, our second response. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me make. Wait, uh, and let me make sure I'm going in the right direction here. Okay. okay. So. Yes. So Tammy Warren says Easter, St. Patrick's Day, and Cinco de Mayo. And that came in, uh, yeah. So there's one answer with one holiday, but we were looking for three. So Tammy Warren is our winner. Yay. Yay. Congratulations, Tammy. Nice. Um, we, can you read all the possible holidays? Easter, Passover, April Fool's Day? Okay. Earth Day. Arbor Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Cinco de Mayo, also known as Elisa's birthday, and Holi, which is the Festival of Colors in India. Did you say St. Patrick's Day? No. Oh. Because I oh. said Patrick's Holy moly, I did not. And that occurs on the 17th of March before spring. So let's go back. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, Tammy. Oh, yeah. So, Drew, the, the next one. So, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Memorial Day for sure. Wait, was Memorial Day on the list? No. I don't How could it not be? When's Memorial Day? It's, like, it's in May. It's May 24th, isn't it? it, it yeah, it, it's the last Monday in May or whatever. So, it. Yeah. I, I think I did say ahead of time, if it was a holiday that wasn't on the list, that we all agree is a holiday. Tammy, um, St. Patrick's Day is not on the list. <laughs> well, no, it, it occurs three days before the start of spring. Okay. Or four days, whatever. Uh, so it's not actually right. in spring. So you so, know what? A judgment call, Lee. Yeah, Lee, let's give it to Drew. But um, Tammy, I will send you something because um, I think that might. Sorry about that. That was our. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fluffer nutter. Well, I know. It's, I'm sure Google has it. I'm sure Google has, every, you know, all of it. So, like I said, I will send you something because we made a mistake there. So I will definitely send you cards. Okay, that'll be on me. We're doing our best, honey. Hope you understand. Um, but we'll take care of you. And Drew. So Drew was next, Lee. Yes. Okay. So two one. Okay, Drew, cards are coming your way, hon. Thank you. Thanks for your patience. You guys. <laughs> so controversial. I know. Oh, Who came up with these questions? I don't know. <laughs> I think it was you, Miss. Yeah, um, just to take a moment and kind of regroup a little bit. Anybody who's, you know, purchased something um, tonight or who has won, you know, a trivia gift, including you, Tammy, please email us your address. Um, and it's, it's the email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen. And um, let us know if you're going to pick up in the shop, let us know that. If not, we'll mail it to you and we'll send you a uh, shipping cost in addition to the cost of the item you're purchasing. For the trivia giveaways, we're covering the shipping. So if you want it shipped, just let us know your shipping address. Okay. Are we all we all good? We're good. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Um, yeah, and Tammy, just make sure and shoot me an email and we'll we'll get you covered. All right. Whose turn is it? Is it you? I think it's me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so anyways, I love weird planters. <laughs> I like a lot of unusual vintage things. This is for like a baby. Um, it's a stork, a little cradle. It's adorable. Um, ceramic. It's in perfect condition. Again, it's not marked, but probably made in Japan. It's very clean. Um, a really sweet gift if you know anyone that's having a baby. Um, or maybe just like planters. You could put like a little succulent plant in there and it would fit perfectly. Succulent would be nice. Would that be nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is... um. Number 17, and it's $18 if you're interested. Yeah, I love the pastel color. Pretty? Yeah. 
You have pencils in there, but peanuts, whatever you want. Hershey's Kisses. Hershey's Kisses. Hershey's Kisses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's cute. Very cute. I love it. It'd be cute with soaps in it. Like oh, as yeah. a little, little gift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Soaps I would yeah. say it's definitely it's really beautiful. It's well it's perfect. It is. It's like perfectly clean and nice and um don't you love the way we admire our own things? Yeah. yeah. Number 17. $18. $18. Not necessarily has to be a baby thing, but no. It'd be nice. Um, okay. So um next item I have is this really great. Iron stone platter. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. And this also is, don't you think those are the parrot tulips? I do think it's parrot tulips. It's the theme tonight. Parrot yeah. Tulips. So these are also, and for those who don't know, the parrot tulips are the tulips with the ruffled edges. Yeah, kind of curly, fancy. So this, this is imperfect, but it was made in France. You can see the mark on the back. A flair de lis. Yes, Dina, makeup brushes would be mm. really cute. Um, awesome. This is good size. So it's pink parrot tulips. And it was this, see, this has many uses. So it's about 15 inches long and um, 11 inches wide. It has some imperfections. There's some, as pieces this old typically do, I mean, this was used and used well. Yeah. Um, it's obviously a beautiful platter, but it would make a great dresser tray as well. Or as we've talked in the past, if you have a little collection of whatever, just, you know, put it on your ironstone like platter. Petrol. Yeah. It's beautiful, very um, farmhouse, country, shabby, shabby chic. all those things. Shabby chick. Shabby chick. <laughs> Shabby, <laughs> shabby farmhouse, whatever. So anyway, so that's a beauty. And that's um, number four, $18. Number four, $18. You could put a small turkey on there, <laughs> a big chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think it would be really pretty on a dresser too. Or even on a really pretty... Um, uh, you know, like on your sideboard. Thanks, Melissa. There we go. Okay. Alex is up. Oh, Where's my that. hat model? <laughs> Can I have another wonderful hat? This is a designer hat from probably like was from Alisa. You know, Where's I'm gonna say eighties. Eighties, okay. 80s, yeah, the label yeah. looks kind of eighties. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we judge gauge age of items by the label. And it's cor coral lee. It's a straw hat and it has this fabulous like feather and this is um silk flower um design on it. It's beautiful and it's in great condition. Yeah, and it has actually has beads threaded up along the feather stem. You see those? Um, really, really pretty. <laughs> and it's in pristine condition. There's there's no sweat stains. There's no wet shot sign of any sort of wear or tear. It's a great church hat. It's a great party hat. It's a display. But and it's it's actually a it's actually a poppy. It's a poppy, yeah. A floppy poppy. A floppy <laughs> poppy. <laughs> it needs to be maybe steamed a little bit and then it yeah. open up. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful hat. Yeah. I mean, really, um, it's it would probably fit you better, but I think it was meant to be worn flat on the head like this, probably up a little. I used to wear hats all the time, but I don't because of glasses. Like, I feel like it's too much going on, you know, like glasses and a hat. So I like, I like it. <laughs> I like it all. <laughs> okay. So this is number 25 and it's $32. Yeah. 
The Straw Hat by Coral Lee, 1980s copy hat. Oh, very nice. And it is 80s. I mean, you can kind of see it. It might be late 70s, but I don't think so. I think it's 80s. 80s yeah. yeah, very nice. Lots of drama. Drama in the 80s. Uh, that's interesting, Melissa. Thanks for sharing. I think that pla that platter is probably from the 20s, don't you think? Oh, I don't she was know. talking about yeah, some could be, yeah, it could I be. Say so. It could be older, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's French, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that hat's a sweetheart. That hat is a sweetheart. Okay, I'm going to do the other pieces of Pyrex that I have. So these are also the burn belt in blue. So normally this set would have included. Um, can I hold something for you, Miss? Sure. I'll let you hold that one. Okay. So normally these would have been nesting bowls, and they're mixing bowls, salad bowls. Um, there would have been a set of four originally. Serving, serving bowls. Serving bowls. Yeah. Um, they're in that same blue and white that that little casserole dish was, but you can see the pattern is the same. The roosters, the Amish. Is this Amish? Oh, the Amish couple. Yeah, the Amish couple. Yep. Um, they're in. Oh my God. It's like, are those like sheaves of wheat or something there? Wheat. Yeah, wheat. Corn. Roosters. Yeah. Chickens. Um very um, desirable pattern. So the the original set would have been four pieces. I'm sure how they fit together. Yeah, and so, they would have been yeah. blue, white, blue, white. Um, they're meant to stack. You can stack, stack them. Stack. Yeah. Super pretty. There is very little wear on these. I would say there's probably hardly any wear. Oh, they look in great condition to you. So these get, often get ruined by being put in the dishwasher. Do not put your Pyrex in the dishwasher, okay? Because that, what that does is it fades the 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 finish, mm -hmm. and it also chips away at this these details on the outside. So don't don't do that if you can help yourself, okay? So the, since there's only two pieces, this is a little bit better price than it would normally be. If it was four pieces, it would go for a lot of money, but it's, um, we're going to sell both pieces together for $45 and it's number 13. So $45 for the two nesting bowls. And this is the Amish buttermilk pattern in blue and white. So it's $45 for the two pieces, number 13. Ooh, and it matches the little casserole. Awesome, Maureen. Thank you. Yep. Yay. Yay. Maureen, you got the little casserole too, didn't you? She did. Yeah, That's awesome. awesome. How fabulous. It's a, it's a great set. It's a great set. That's for sure. Okay. How are we doing on time, Lee? What time is it? What time is it, Lee? Uh, it is 7.41. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna, yeah, we'll try to wrap up on the hour. I think. Yeah, so I think that would be good. We'll kind of, we'll try to move around along a little bit more. Um, no, Tammy. Sorry, no crystals for sale. Not at this time. We rarely ever have crystals. So. Okay. Okay. So um, this is a vintage 1980s Carol Little. I'm sure. So I remember Carol Little. Uh, maxi dress it goes to the floor. I mean, if you're taller than me, it might be a midi dress. It's pretty fabulous. It's uh, like a crinkle um, rayon um, fabric. It's got roses and then a geometric pattern. There's some shoulder pads in here, which there was always shoulder pads in the 80s. Here, let me hold that. Yep. There you go. I mean, it would be a maxi. Oh, oh, pretty so tall. tall. So yeah, so does Maxi. It's very boho. That's gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. I mean, I love the um sort of a patchwork cabbage roses. Oh yeah, and then um turn it over in the back because the back is different. Yeah, you have these different like these are different pieces of the fabric sewn together. Nice deal. Um, yeah. yeah, detailing. Detail. And it's just because it's this rayon uh, kind of gauzy fabric, it's it has like a flow to it, you know. It has movement. Yeah. It's a beautiful dress. Made Just in the fun USA. To wear. 
made in the USA. It says size six, but um, is that a zipper? It is a side zipper. Yeah. Side zipper. It's a size. It's a size six, but I don't think it's a teeny tiny six because everything in the eighties was a little bit bigger. Also cut on the bias. Yeah. So when things are cut in the bias, sometimes it gives you a little bit more room. So the bust, I'm just going to measure the bust, could be like a 38. And then the waist, stretch that out, like 34. Mm -hmm. And the hips are pretty full. So that gives you an idea. And I'm just going to do a shoulder, shoulder to hem. Shoulder to hem is 55. Mm -hmm. V-neck, really pretty. It's a beautiful dress. It's a fun summer dress, really fun. Um, it's number 28 and it's $45. V-neck. Very boho. Rayon. Wouldn't you say? It is rayon, yeah. yeah. And it looks, it's vintage, but it looks new. Yeah, right? would you when say you the, 80s? Oh, it's totally 80s. Yeah, yeah. It's shoulder pads. But um, it it looks like a new dress. Like it yeah. just came out. Yeah, of, it hasn't been worn. A shop, hardly. No, hardly at all. Yep. Okay. Whenever I oh, Chris, nice. Oh, that's gonna look gorgeous on you. So Chris bought it. Yeah. Oh, do I know Chris? Chris, the uh, bracelet. Chris. Oh, uh, journal. Chris. Oh, cool. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that'll look great with one of your bracelets. Mm -hmm. Total look. Yep, for sure. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this piece. So, um. For those of you who might follow along um, on Instagram, I was going to sell a kimono tonight because I had bought um, a few kimonos for the shop, which are always very popular. Uh, I sold all three of them like within uh, 48 hours. So they're all gone. They were absolutely beautiful. They were vintage. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gone. And I really wanted one for myself. It's, I always say that I want to buy more. Yeah. So we're going to try to hunt some, know to buy more. hunt some more down. But these yeah. were authentic Japanese kimonos. Um, and they were beautiful. But in its place, <laughs> I have a vintage, also Carol Little, denim jacket Gosh, adorable. with beading. I don't know if you can see that. It's just like it's sparkling. Yeah, it's sparkling in the light. So it's a gorgeous. It's like, uh, they're like roses, aren't they? They're like roses yeah. with uh, like gold leaves. Yeah, pink and red. Um, I'm trying to get it. What there, it? right there. There we go. It has gold leaves, pink and red roses, a nice medium weight denim. Um, again, it has a size has a size eight in it. It's, um, it's bigger than an eight. Because it's, it's an, an 80s. 80s it's an 80s eight. Yeah, it's, it's it's show these buttons too though. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The metal buttons are really pretty too. They're really fancy. Very fancy buttons. Yeah, it's got a lot of, it's got <laughs> a lot of cool that way. <laughs> but um I mean it's in great condition. It's just um I was trying it on earlier. I usually wear a large extra large and I couldn't button it, uh, but I could wear it open. So I would guess it's like a medium large, um, but it's also this full cut. So, you know, if you have a narrow waist, maybe a bigger top, you're going to be able to wear this, even if you're like a large, extra large. But why can I? Oh, there we go. It's a green denim jacket. It is really cool. And here's the back. Just a simple plain back. So that, my friends, Carol Little, 100% cotton, and it's $28, number 14. $28, number 14. Yeah, really, it's a stunner. It's for the gal that loves a jean jacket, but can pull off a little bling too. Mm -hmm. And as we know, denim jackets are timeless. So yeah. we're always in number 14, $28. Um, oh yeah. 
We should probably do yeah. our last trivia, Lee. Yeah. Since okay. we're winding up, I think. Good call, Alex. Okay. Okay, so the good news is there is one answer to this question and only one answer. <laughs> <laughs> so spring is often a time for dramatic weather changes. What weather event happens, what severe weather event happens most often in spring? Hey, everybody, put your best answer in the chat. Right. Our final uh, giveaway is another box of beautiful, beautiful cards. Mm -hmm. Glamour Gals. Glamour Gals. Lorene answered correctly first. Lorene. Nice. Congratulations. Friend of the shop, Lorene. Okay. Kyle wants the jacket. Is he going to wear the jacket or is it for a gift? <laughs> I guess put Kyle next to the jacket, Lee. Oh, okay. My cousin Kyle. All right, it's your turn. Okay. 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 I'm going to do. Um, Alex is going to skip because I have a couple extra items. So this um, is gorgeous. Uh, this is a Roseville. <laughs> Tammy, you're funny. This is Roseville pottery. Yes, you did, Lorraine. Thank you so much, honey. Was that was in Ohio, wasn't it? In Southern Ohio, Roseville? I think so. I Roseville think it was, was, I think it was from Southern Ohio. Yeah. Or West Virginia, I can't yeah. remember. But it's a planter. Or jardinier, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it has a hole in the bottom. It's a poppy design, but it's in these really beautiful pastel, blue, green, and yellow, a little pink. Um, and the design is on both sides. It's raised. It's raised. Yeah, yeah it's really yeah. cool. Has these beautiful handles on the side. Um, has the hole in the bottom, which is nice. And then also, you can see the Roseville mark on it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. So it's really, it's lovely. It's great pastel colors. A lot of times you see, you know, Roseville and it can be in like a darker color palette. Mm -hmm. So this is nice. Um, yeah, it's like five and a half inches in diameter and then six inches tall. Yeah, so maybe this will help you better. So it does fit in both hands, it would be great for a little plant. Um, yeah. I would just stick a pot like a clay pot down yeah. there. Yeah, that's I agree. I yeah, right? Stick a pot, a uh, planter in there. I wouldn't put it directly yeah, on no, the put directly. I would just take a clay pot and put it in. Now there, you'll see. There's a couple. It's not a chip, but there's a little discoloration here, like it, almost like it, it got bumped. But it, um, some of the paint or the glaze took on the color of the item that bumped it. It's not a chip. It's not a defect, really. It has a few little minor imperfections, but it's really in great shape. Really pretty. I love this poppy pattern. So this is. Um, uh, Twenty-eight dollars, and it's number two. Twenty-eight dollars, number two, and it's you know like you, you could use it for anything. It doesn't have to be a planter, yeah. but it would be a pretty nice planter. Mm -hmm. But you could also put you know whatever in it, just on its own, just on its own as an object of yes. art. An object of art. Yes, it's beautiful, beautiful. Number two, twenty-eight dollars. All right. Okay. Is it me? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is my last item of the night. Okay. Again, guys, these are not vintage, but they're super cool if you're into shoes. These are a pair of uh, Fiorent Fiorentini and Baker sandals made in Italy. They're like gladiator style, <laughs> brown leather, size 39 and a half. Um, I can no longer wear them because the heel is too high for me. They're very uncomfortable. 
Um, so it's only been worn maybe twice to a wedding and to a wedding, and that's it. Um, <laughs> they're fabulous. They probably retail at like three seventy five. Um, Italian, Italian, yeah, the Italians are uh, there. The style, the style people. Let me hold up so you can see Fiorentini and Baker. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, let me Here, see if I can get it closer. Get up so you can see closer so you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they just buckle. They have three buckles. So you just you um adjust it to fit your foot. It's kind of like a gladiator style. Um, what they refer to as gladiator style today with this strappy up to the ankle look. So the heel is like two and a half inches. And again, they're a size 39 and a half, which is like a size eight and a half, um, maybe almost a nine in US size. Um, and there, what do you say about the condition, Elisa? Oh, I think they're in um, good, very good um, worn condition. So they're broken in, the leather is broken in, but they're not damaged. They're not excessively worn. They just, and the heel is, is in great shape. You can see it's, it's not overworn or anything. And it's a beautiful wooden stacked heel. I mean, Italians don't, it's wood, it's leather. It's sewn to the bottom. Like it's a brass buckle. Yeah. It's meant to last. They don't skimp. They don't skimp on style at all. Mm -mm, the okay. style's great too. So these are number 18 and they're $55. <clears throat> Woo your chance to own all the Italian leathers and all. Beautiful. All right. Think about that. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be my last item as well. Actually, no, I have one more after this, but we'll make this one quick. This is a linen um, dresser runner. Scarf. scarf, Jester scarf. And this is, um, the ends are incredibly oh hand crocheted. <clears throat> Teeny tiny. So those are acorns and beautiful leaf pattern. And it's the same on both ends. And like, that's all hand. Somebody with fantastic eyesight. Um, Woman's work. Women's work. Is that what they called it? Yeah. They called it women's work. And, and then they stand around doing this. It day. is a very beautiful linen. This is not cotton specifically. This is linen. And you can see there's a very textured weave. Or maybe you can't see it in the process. Now there is one flaw in this piece. And it's right in the center. And you'll see there's a couple of holes. But this, uh, I'm sorry, I would use this. It's beautiful, yeah. So it's, it's the easy. same on both ends. I love the acorn motif. I know, like, I, I don't remember yeah. ever seeing acorn like anything. Trees. Let us measure it for you. And it's stiff, um, not stiff, but it's like uh, it's got surfaces to the fabric because it's probably been, yeah, some um, weight. it has weight. It's probably been, uh, what do you call that? Starched. Right. 56 inches end to end. Oops. Sorry, it would, um, and if you don't want to use it as a dresser scarf, I mean, you could use it for a craft project if you were bothered by the holes, but honestly, the holes are nothing. Um, when it comes to this quality of fabric and work, it's just, you can just put a Roseville planter on top of it. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the, the quality is spectacular. It's, it's $22 and it's five, number five. Um, and we had it in the store for a little bit more, but I'm happy to sell it for a little less tonight. Yeah, I agree, Tammy. The holes do give it character. I like to say it, it um, it's proof of life. It had a life mm -hmm. before. Um, it was used and well loved. Mm -hmm. And I mean, somebody put, Many, many, many hours into this beautiful runner. Um, I would also consider making it into a curtain. Like if you had a long, narrow door or something, oh, yeah. you could just hook it over. Oh, it's perfect for, for a tension rod, right? Yep. So you had a so little bathroom window or something that you were just trying to. Your back door. Yeah. 
It's really pretty. So it's $22, number five. Oh, on it. Oh, my bed pillows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mom, you're right. Over bed pillows would be nice, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. But this would also be, yeah, this is, I mean, if you wanted to, you really wanted to, you could make it, yeah, a kitchen drape, Tammy, uh, anything. I just, it's such a beautiful quality, so. Okay, I have one thing left. Yes, it does have tales to tell, Christine. It really, we love it when it has wear and age, patina and rust and all that yeah. stuff because... Yeah. I mean, there's nothing worse than fake rust. You ever go into like a store and they get um, like, baked yeah. rust? Yeah. So, the reproduction thing. Not here. We don't. Yeah. We, have we want that. authentic. <laughs> okay. Last <laughs> item. What time is that? Oh, two minutes. Okay. Last uh, item. Oh, this uh, is kind of wow. oh, special. This is beautiful. This is a enormous um, compote, artisan made. Beautiful pedestal dish, mm -hmm. ceramic, and it was made by Boris Vitlin in 1995. Oh. So not super vintage, but guys, handcrafted, heavy, beautiful. It's like cherries-ish. Apples. Dark. Yeah, it's some it's some kind of fruit, like maybe blueberries or something. I don't know. Well, yeah. Much, yeah. But it's like grays and black and a, just a bit of hints of little blueberries. Um, it's really gorgeous. Perfect on a dining room table. You could put something in it. You could set a plant on it and use it as a pedestal, a display piece. Um, it's just, it's handmade, hand um, thrown pottery. Hand painted. The background is a white. Um, and like I said, signed by the artist. Mm -hmm. Just a really mm -hmm. nice piece. So this is, and it's artisan made. So it's number 15, $29. Nice. Yeah, which in the store we have it marked for more, but for the sale tonight, it's Still number tonight. 15, $29. <laughs> It'd be a nice fruit bowl. It just speaks on its own. You know, I mean, it would as, be as great. It's a centerpiece on its own. It's yeah. fine. It doesn't need anything in it. Yeah. Yeah. Number 15, $29. And I'm getting my work out. <laughs> <laughs> that is it, you guys. Thanks, Woo! guys. Wow. Yay. Yay. Thanks, Lee. Uh, of course. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Just to repeat, just in case you didn't hear the instructions, you know, just email us at that address scrolling at the bottom. Let us know if you want to pick up in person or if you want to have it mailed. We mail all over the world. It's not a problem. What we'll do is once you email us um, with your uh, information and what you would prefer, um, we will email you an invoice, which will include shipping if necessary. Um, you pay the invoice, we ship the item to you, or we hold it in the store if you want us to do that until you're ready to pick it up. Um, this has been working really well, you guys. We use PayPal primarily, but we can do whatever, you know, whatever method of payment works for you, we can work it out. Um, thank you, Aunt Sheila. If you're with Kyle, tell him I said I love him, and I, I'm saying his name. <laughs> Um, and so let us know if you have any questions. Um, the same is true for any trivia winter winners. You know, if you want a trivia item, please email us and let us know if you'd like to pick it up or should have it shipped. And if you want it shipped, you need to give us your, um, please give us your mailing address. So, um, our store, our, thank you, Benita. Um, so our shop is located in on Mayfield Road in Little Italy in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, we are generally here between Thursdays and um, Sundays. Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, we're here 3 to 8. This information is on our Facebook page as well, if, if, if you can't write it down quick enough. 
So three to eight. And then on Sundays, we're here one to five. So, um, you know, after we close today is when we do the, the live sale. But I'm very happy to make an appointment with you if those hours do not work for you. Um, we tend to be open when our restaurants in the neighborhood are the busiest. So that's why our hours are a little bit off, um, the not common hours. So, but we're happy to make an appointment. So just give us a call if you need to make an appointment. Um, we really appreciate your support and um, your participation. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback if you want to share any information with us, sure, yeah. anything you think we can do better. We tried to reduce the number of items tonight to kind of get it to a shorter amount of time, but we still use two hours. So yeah, yeah. but you know, let us know if you think that's yeah, too long. We're working on it. Yeah. We always think that people can hop on and off if, if, you know, obviously if they're busy. So, um, but again, thank you. Thank you, Lee, as always. Thank you. For this. Thank you Pat. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you, Pat Eisenstadt. If you're up there still, um, we love you and we appreciate you. And thank you for sharing your story with us. Um, we're honored to have your cards and your journals in this story. So thank you. All right. Thanks, Chris. Chris, and I, I have your information, obviously, Chris. So don't you worry about emailing unless you want to let us know if you want it shipped or, or if you want to pick it up. So. Okay. Good night, you guys. Thank Good you so much. Everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.